okay, uh, there's people in my family still sick, so I had to leave, but I took the time to record the video here. I expect you to listen to it and pretend I'm standing in front of you, okay, because I'm going to be back tomorrow, and I'm going to expect you to have learned something today because I'm, I'm sitting here teaching. I wasn't sure who was going to be in for me. If you get a math teacher in for me, you have a bonus here because you're going to have a worksheet to do either way. Okay, so this is your homework from last night. If you were not here yesterday, you should be copying this right now and thinking about what I'm doing. The rules you guys should remember, you should be able to finish my sentence, are number times number is normal, letter times letter add exponents. So what I like to do, we are distributing here, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it around to the front. I'm like a ghost in here now. Okay, so pretend I'm here. So I'm number times number, 12 times 3 is 36. G times G is G squared. We did this one before we left yesterday. This one here, negative 8 times 4 is negative 32. T squared, because there's no T to multiply the T squared by here. Negative 8 T squared times positive 1 t squared is negative 8 t to the fourth. Letter times letter, add exponents. Negative 4 n squared times positive 1. n squared is negative 4 n to the fourth. Negative 4 n squared times positive 2 n to the first is negative 8 n to the third. This one's just a number, so you're just multiplying numbers times numbers here. And this is a 1, so all it does is change the numbers right here. This one has lots of 1s in it. you got 1s here, 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 and here. So check your answer there. Make sure you did number times number and letter times letter add exponents. And then finally on the last one, you can move it out to the front. Check your answer. Make sure you did put m squared in your final answer and you don't just have a 3 there. Because a lot of times people think 3 times 1 is 3 and they forget to carry through the m squared. Now about half your assignment tonight is problems like this. Okay, So we didn't go over these yesterday in periods 3 and 4. <clears throat> And it says, find the quotient. Okay, I know that's cut off there. It says, find the quotient. Now, what this means is this is a division problem. And you're dividing every single term here by that same thing. So what we do is we write 6x to the 6 divided by negative 2x squared, negative 10x to the 4th divided by negative 2x squared, and positive 2x squared divided by negative 2x squared. Now the rule I didn't teach you yesterday, I taught you number times number is normal. Number divided by number is normal. You're going to see here. Okay, Letter times letter add exponents. Letter divided by letter subtract exponents. Letter divided by letter subtract exponents. So let's look here. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. x to the 6 divided by x squared, you subtract exponents to get x to the 4th. Negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5. Letter divided by letter, subtract 4 minus 2 is 2 to get 5x squared. Neg positive 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. Do it in your calculator if you have to. Now, here's the biggest mistake kids make here is they say x squared over x squared is x. Okay, and that is incorrect. x squared over x squared is actually x to the 0, which means it is not there. If you leave this, you're telling me there's one x there. There's x to the first, and it's not. How can it be 0 and 1 at the same time? Okay, so what we do here is we just cancel these x squared terms. Just cancel them out. When anything over itself cancels, and then we can just say negative 1. Alright, so you have a worksheet 12.3.
um, you're doing uh, the front side of the worksheet and on the back side of the worksheet you're just gonna pick one of the word problems to do as a challenge alright don't get in trouble I'll see you tomorrow